Hello and welcome to this lesson on Delete and the Recycle Bin. What happens to most files you delete from your computer? Well, they typically go to the Recycle Bin. The Recycle Bin is a location where deleted files and folders are temporarily stored. Files and folders in the Recycle Bin can be restored until the Recycle Bin is emptied. And we'll go over this in a demo at the end of the video. Deleting files and folders, you just right click on the file or folder you want to delete. Maybe you don't want it anymore. And it should go to the recycle bin. Some will prompt you, but not many. Most of the times they'll just go straight to your recycle bin. Usually if it prompts you, you might be permanently deleting something. So read the prompt before you click yes or no. So will it go to the recycle bin? Now there are instances where a file that you delete will not go to the recycle bin. So to start, files or folders that reside on the computer itself will go to the recycle bin when you delete them. So any files or folders deleted off of an external device like a flash drive or external hard drive will not. So if you have one of those little flash drives that you plug into the side of the computer, and you delete something off of it, it will not go to the recycle bin. It'll be gone forever. Now, uninstalled programs. If you go into the control panel and uninstall a program, which we will go over in a later lesson, those do not go into the recycle bin either. Once you uninstall a program, it is also gone. So, emptying the recycle bin. You can keep a lot of stuff in these. However, if you have important information in them, it might be a really good idea to empty the recycle bin on a re regular basis. That way, if something important was in there, someone couldn't try to recover it and see what you had on there. But just keep in mind, once you delete or empty the recycle bin, everything in there is gone. So let's go over this real quick in a quick demo. So here I have the recycle bin move the icon here and I have an old file and an old folder. Now what if I want to get rid of those? Well first thing I want to point out is if I point to the recycle bin icon it looks like an empty trash can, right? Well watch what happens when I right click on this file here and I say delete it. The file disappeared but did you notice that the recycle bin also looks like it has stuff in it now? Let's do that with the folder as well. I'm going to delete the folder. It's also in there. Now I'm going to double click the recycle bin to see what's in it. Look, those two files and that file and folder is in there. What if I decided I needed to keep this? Well, I can click it and then right click and hit restore. And let's see what happened. Oh, there it is down here in the bottom. It went there's the old folder. So one thing to keep in mind when you do restore them, they don't always go back to exactly the same place that you deleted them to, but they should be in the same folder or area at least. So let me go ahead and delete this again. I'm going to see that it's still in here. And now I'm going to manage the recycling bin and hit empty recycle bin. It's going to say this time it's actually going to prompt me because I'm permanently deleting these. And I'll hit yes, and now they're gone. I hope that helped you to understand the recycle bin.